one needs to follow certain rules to convert foreign words to their Japanese forms. With detailed information on such rules, here is the 14th lesson in the series of Japanese lessons for beginners from the YouTube channel Saral Japani. And I am your friend Sujoy Chatterjee, sharing my knowledge of Japanese with you guys. At high level, we have identified some 20 odd rules needed to frame words in Katakana correctly. 10 of these rules were discussed in the previous lesson, that is lesson 13. Today in lesson 14, we are going to look at the remaining 10 rules. Lesson 14, Rules of Katakana, Part 2. Friends, before proceeding with the 11th rule, let's have a quick recap of the 10 rules that we already discussed in the last lesson. Rule number one, Katakana word formation is more pronunciation based than spelling based. Rule number two, nearest vowel and nearest consonant is chosen in case of unavailability of exact sound or alphabet in the Japanese system. Rule number three, an extended vowel sound is represented using a long dash character called Chon. Rule number four, new sounds in modern kat katakana, fa, fi, fe, fo are acceptable and can be used in place of ha, hi, he, ho. Rule number five, new sounds ti, tu, vi, ve, vo are acceptable. Rule number six, again three new sounds, j, she, and j are introduced in modern katakana. Rule number seven, if there is R after a vowel and there is no vowel after R, then R gets replaced with extended vowel sound of the consonant preceding it. V and BH sounds are replaced by B sounds. This is rule number eight. Rule number nine, if D and T are not followed by a vowel, then DO and TO are to be used in the Japanese version of the word. And rule number 10, if J sound or J sound is not followed by a vowel, then G is to be used. We have discussed in detail all these 10 rules in our last lesson. So if you haven't watched that video, then I would recommend you to watch that video first and then return back to this video in which we are going to discuss rule numbers 11 through 20. With this information, we now proceed with rule number 11. Treatment of ek sound. When a foreign word ends in an ek sound, then ki is used in katakana word to end that word. So what does this mean? Let's see some examples as in cake. So cake will be written as cake, cakey. So the syllables are k, then an extended vowel and then ki. So when we pronounce the word, it sounds like cake steak it's suteki steak is suteki suteki so it becomes suteki rake reiki milkshake mirukuseki mirukuseki and this is when we don't use she and we use say as per traditional language uh, and as we uh, we have seen in one of the rules in the last lesson that a new sound she has been introduced in modern katakana so that milkshake becomes miruku shake so these both the forms are written here so first one is the traditional form and the second one is the modern form then we Proceed to room, rule number 12. When no vowel sound after all other consonants. So this means we have discussed about D, T. That is the sound, the sound, J sound. And uh, in rule number 11, we have say, uh, we have checked, we have seen ek sound. So other than these, if there is no vowel after a consonant other than these consonants, then what will happen? that we will see in this rule number 12. The remaining single consonant sounds when they do not have a vowel sound after them are generally replaced with the most relevant consonant followed by an U sound. So U vowel is used. Example, glass becomes gurasu. 
So these labels are gu ra su, gu ra su, and when we pronounce it as a word, it becomes gurasu. Class kurasu, home home, club kurubu, pub pub, gym jimu. So in each of these, you can see that the ending consonant ends with u sound because there is no consonant. Uh, sorry, if there is no vowel after the consonant. Guras, guras, home, kurb, pub, gym. Next is rule number 13, treatment of l and r sounds. Since there is no l or l sound in Japanese, both l and r sounds in foreign words are replaced with the relevant sound from the rari rure ro line in katakana. So this means milk becomes mirku, linen becomes rinan, room becomes rumu, Latin becomes raten, linkan becomes rinkan, and restaurant becomes resutora. Resutoran. So this becomes restaurant. So you can see here all the L consonants have been replaced with R, and additionally, the R remains as R. Next is rule number 14 treatment of C sound. So again, we know that in Japanese we have sa, shi, su, se, so. So this means there is no C sound. So as in foreign words, there are plenty of C sounds. So what we need to do in Japanese is we have to just replace that C with the available shi. There is no C sound in Japanese. These are a few examples. Sink becomes shinku. Seattle becomes Shiatoru. Singapore becomes Singapore. Sicily becomes Shishiri. Symposium becomes Shimuposhiyamu. Now in Singapore, one noticeable thing is that we had discussed that if there is a vowel and after that there is an R and it is not followed by a vowel, in that case, we just represent, we just uh, replace the R with a with an extended vowel preceding it. But here, since we have an E here, so Singapore becomes Singapore. So we don't replace this R. So it becomes Ru because of the presence of this vowel. Singapore. Then we proceed to the Next rule, which is rule number 15, treatment of T and TU sounds. Since there is no T and TU sounds in Japanese, we have TA, CHI, TSU, TE, TO, and the, uh, we have uh, from CHI, we have the blended sounds, CHA, CHU, CHO, and also, so these are replaced, it means the TU and T sounds in the foreign words are replaced with chi and chu sounds in katakana. However, in rule number five, we have seen that in the modern katakana, new sounds t and tu have been introduced. So we can use either of these two rules, either we can use t tu or we can use the traditional chi and chu. So these are a few examples, tube. So in traditional, we can write tube, in modern, we can write tube, tube, YouTube, 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 Tintin. So Tintin will be written as Tantan or it may be written as Tintin. So generally Tintin is not uh, used because Tintin is a slang word that represents the male reproductory organ. So because of that, uh, in formal language, 
we don't use tin tin in Japanese, but we use tan tan. Tirupati. Tirupati is a famous pilgrimage place in India. So Tirupati becomes Chirupachi. Or we can write Tirupati because now in modern Katakana we have the T sound. So either Chirupachi or Tirupati. Tubular becomes Chubura in traditional or in modern we can have Tubula, Tubura. Tubura. So in this way, we can handle the T and two sounds or the T and two sounds of foreign languages in Japanese. And we have to uh, note that there is no T sound in Japanese. All will be the soft one, T sounds. Rule number 16 is treatment of the soft TH sound, that is TH sound. Since there is no soft TH sound in Japanese, a relevant sound from the SA SHI SU SE SO line of katagana is chosen as the closest sound. Examples, thank you becomes SANG YOU, BATH becomes BASU, THYROID becomes SAIROIDO, AGATHA becomes AGASA, Therapy becomes therapy and theater becomes shietaru. So as you can see, all the th, these are the soft th sound, which is the sound. These are replaced with one of the sounds from the sa, shi, su, se, so line. This is sa, this is su, this is again sa, sa, se, and this is shi. So theater becomes shietaru. Rule number 17 is the treatment of the hard TH sound, which is which sounds like the. The hard TH sound in foreign words is similar to the soft D sound. Hence, for the hard TH sound, which is which gives a sound of the irrelevant sound from the Zaji Zu Ze Zo line of katakana is chosen. So one might wonder that why not the da ji zu de do line that is because the da ji zu de do line is used or it is reserved for the hard d sound that is the da sound of foreign words also in modern katakana d and do have been introduced similar to t and tu so we can use any of these so some examples weather becomes ueza father becomes faza and leather becomes reza. So this is the traditional way of writing the hard th sound in Japanese. Ueza, faza, and reza for weather, father, and leather. So this is the most common way of writing words that have this hard th sound. Next, we have rule number 18, treatment of we, wu, we, wo. We know that there is only wa sound in Japanese, hence the sounds we, wu, we, and wo in foreign words are replaced either with a u sound or with a blend of u and another vowel. Examples, waiter becomes ueta, wine becomes wine. So this is a uh, an interesting word here. So you can see a W is followed by I in English, but since it gives the sound of I in as in wine, so in Japanese word it becomes wine. So the wa, wa consonant sound is applicable here and it has nothing to do with the V sound here. So as per rule number one, we have seen that the katakana words are based on the pronunciation and not on the actual spelling. So this is a very good example of that rule. So wine becomes wine. wine. Whiskey, uisuki, uisuki. Since there is ey, so this is an extended sound in English. So that's why whiskey becomes uisuki. Uisuki. Wool becomes uru. So here again the same thing. 
since there is double o so this is this doesn't give a sound of wo but it gives a sound of wu in english word wool so in japanese we write it as uru uru west becomes uesuto uesuto woman becomes uman uman so it's a long sound here uman so this is how we wo we wo are handled rule number 19 is short vowel followed by consonant foreign words that have a short vowel followed by a consonant will have a double consonant in japanese version of the word what does it mean for example pet becomes petto so here you can see the double consonant and you might remember we have discussed in both hiragana and katakana lessons that for double consonant we write a small tsu and then the full consonant following that uh, uh, for like full consonant for the consonant that needs to be doubled so pet becomes petto truck becomes torakku bed becomes beddo tip becomes chippu sak becomes sakku rocket becomes rocketto now there is an exception that when there is consonant na or n at the end then we don't have to follow this rule and it will be a straight forward ones as in pen big remains pen train remains torain den remains den tin becomes chin or tin as per the modern katakana rule that we discussed and pin it remains pin so except for this consonant n for any other consonant if that is preceded by a short vowel sound then this double consonant version of the of that sound will take effect then we have rule number 20 treatment of the y sound or y sound the y sound except when followed by a u or o is usually replaced with e with a u and o it becomes ya u and yo respectively and as applicable so let's see some examples of this rule year year will be written as ia ia you will be written as you yellow will be written as iero iero and yp will be written as ip so as you can see in these examples that when y is followed by a u o then we can have the ya yu yo because these are the regular sounds present in the katakana or hiragana Uh, alphabet chart however since g and y are not there so in place of that we use some version of e and we may either it will be a pure e or it may be a blend kind of thing starting with e and followed by another vowel as in yellow that is become uh, yellow becomes yero so that's it friends we come to the end of today's lesson now that we know all the 20 odd rules we should be able to frame words in katakana or we may be able to convert words from foreign language to japanese katakana in the next lesson we shall present the conversion of foreign words to japanese using these rules until then stay safe and keep learning see you soon Goodbye sayonara